I play Harvey Putter, who's a rebellious teen punk at Snogwarts, who, uh, he's a big celebrity in the wizarding world, but this year, his whole world just comes crashing down when he finds out he's a fictional character in a book. It's an asinine theory, but it would explain why everything exciting always happens to you, and you always come out on top. No, listen. I come out on top because I rock. Yeah. The costume was designed after like the punk slash emo kind of crowd. We wanted lots of blacks and reds since that's what is in that uh, scene a lot. So we got like cool things like a chain then to to add on to it and little bits like these like this cool studded belt with the reds and the black to help with that bit of the costume. Other cool little studded wristbands and stuff like that just to help get the vibe of a punk rocker and being way cooler and then we also have a few buttons some are like this say wizard rock ep of the month club 2008 that's right i'm a member <laughs> uh we found the uh some pieces at goodwill and other secondhand stores and these jeans we found at uh and the, and the shoes as a matter of fact found at plato's closet and uh we found my underwear at the Salvation <laughs> Army. Um, so I'm wearing wearing the Salvation Army underwears. I think this might have been like Kohl's or something. But this is like a child's. Obviously, since I'm very small, it's a child size. Well, the first thing I do is use this girly makeup, and I girly by myself up it just as a base coat. Then I've got to make my little scar with my stencil, which would be right here. And since we are such a high-class production, I do it all myself. I don't have my own makeup person. Then I have to darken my eyebrows since I'm such a little boy. I have, like, really light eyebrows. So I have to use this nice oil-based makeup on my eyebrows. I usually have to get someone to do my eyeliner because I can't do it myself. I start blinking too much and it starts moving. And, uh, yeah, so I usually ask the resident female to do that for me since they're used to that. And then, last but not least... <laughs> oh wait, no, and then there's more. Bro! Then there's these things. My earrings, which I have to cut out from this bit of rubber. With, you guessed it, hole punch. Nothing but the best here at Richardson Productions. And then to top it all off, it's <laughs> my wig, which actually turned out to be a fantastic piece because Many people who came to the set thought that this was actually my real hair. So I put that on and I instantly become Harvey Putter with the glasses. Well, I thought the costume was really fun. I mean, first of all, I didn't have to wear the same costume every single shoot. For the last two films, that's what I've had to do. Uh, it's very, very nice to have different stuff, plus, you know, all these different parts and combining them. And today I got to pick exactly what I wanted to wear when I'm playing down and everything. So that was nice getting picked out. And I get a. Wear cool things like these shoes. Aren't these wicked rad? Check them out. We found them just in the store one day. They were a little bit small, so we actually had to stretch them to fit my feet in. Believe it or not, something was too small for me. 